we're here today sipping a delicious coffee from Fazenda Caxambu in Brazil. Among Fazenda Caxambu, we have several different partners in Brazil, which are extremely conscious about being eco-friendly and sustainability for the environment. Matter of fact, a lot of people don't know that 30% of the farm in Brazil, a coffee producer, have to designate to be a rainforest uh, to create a great ecosystem uh, in the area uh, to sustain so we don't devastate uh, the whole land and only plant with coffee. One of the things about Fazenda Caxambu we like a lot uh, was one of the first producers that we met in our first trip uh, to Brazil. Uh, Usha Chavez, uh, she is a great producer, a third generation of a coffee producer. She has been in the business all her life. She's very committed, very passionate. Matter of fact, right now, she is the president of this Brazilian Specialty Coffee Association, which she is really raising the bar and bringing, educating a lot of more people to be a passion, passionate about the specialty coffee. One thing very important about the, uh, her farm, they produce around eight to 10,000 bags per year, depending on the season. The coffee that she has, she has approximately about eight different varietals of coffee tree that grows in the farm. Because the farm sits on the, uh, on the hill, so you have a different plots, uh, which create a microclimate. This coffee here that we drink here is a Samba Zen, that we call Samba Zen because we were there in 2011 and she has just planted this coffee tree. So we saw the tree growing from this little to this big that now we can bring the coffee uh, to us. One of the things about uh, Fazenda Cachambu as well, they are very, she's very holistic how she harvests the coffee because after the coffee harvests the beans, she puts in the water house, resting, playing 24 hour classical music until the coffee leaves the farm. So she believes that the coffee that when leaves uh, has a loss of energy uh, for when you drink this coffee here. Another thing very important people don't understand, uh, not only the varietal of the coffee trees, it is processing the coffee. Uh, you see probably a lot of uh, wash and natural coffee, uh, different uh, how the producer can process the coffee. But it's different, there is not only natural, there is a wash, there is a semi-wash, uh, pulp natural, uh, there is uh, uh, the raisin bean, uh, which we have the beans here as well, and there's another one, Afro honey. And there is another one uh, which is coming up right now, which in the next few years is gonna be a huge trend in the industry is the fermented coffee. So when you sip this coffee here, we wanna educate our consumer because our raisin beans is completely different. Even come from the same farm, it is different from the Samba Zen or just a regular Fazenda Cachambu. Each one is very special. And we wanna uh, very soon with our roastery launch the Afro Honey which Usha already committed to come to the U.S. Uh, to launch uh, the Afro Honey, which is an amazing coffee as well. So you, we want to keep educating you because we want you to enjoy and understand what a great cup of coffee that you drink because all the coffee that we bring from Brazil, the sustainability is there. And we know for a fact because we go and visit the producers. So we produce and we promote from farm to cup. So sip, savor, socialize, and enjoy a great cup of coffee. Thank you. <laughs>